Terry Fox was born in Winnipeg, Manitoba, and the family resettled to British Columbia when he was eight years old. You know, when we were kids, we, we did everything together, and Terry, we, we were always active. It didn't matter whether it was out in the forest somewhere, uh, building forts or camping with mom and dad, uh, taking a trail somewhere off into the bush, not even worrying whether there was cougars or bears or whatever in the background, but Terry was often uh, very involved in, in playing sports. He loved to beat his dad and his brothers at, and whether it was table hockey, street hockey, wrestling, badminton in the backyard. Yeah, Terry loved to win and, and, uh, and he, it showed. I mean, he was very competitive. He had that never give up attitude that was so important. So, um, you know, there's so many things. Terry was very honest, but after being diagnosed with cancer, he, um, he became very caring. It wasn't all about Terry Fox. It was about uh, helping other people and wanting to make a difference in other people's lives. I was prepared for some type of operation to prepare a cartilage or a ligament problem in my knee. And I was not prepared for losing a leg. But uh, it, was, it was a good thing for me because only two days later, I was shown an art article of a man who ran on one leg. And uh, I am a very competitive type person. And I said, if he could do it, I could do it too. And, and right from the very beginning, I have had a, the competitive attitude, the attitude that I can beat my disability. Terry soon found out after having his amputation and doing some research on his own that uh, not a lot of uh, money was going towards cancer research. One morning I woke up and I couldn't get out of bed and that day they told me I had a malignant tumor and that I had to have my leg amputated in four, in four days. And I decided after my year and a half of chemotherapy that I'd try and run across Canada and raise as much money as I could for the Canadian Cancer Society. And here we are 30 years later, there's never an event like a Terry Fox run before 1981. And now every weekend between the spring to fall, there's an event on a weekend, a run, a walk, to raise money for whether it's cancer or some other disease. And so Terry's contributed so, so greatly to that, to not only money raised by the Terry Fox Foundation, but other organizations as well. He's made a huge difference in uh, cancer research. Money was raised in Terry's name as well, over half a billion dollars. So he's, he's contributed so much to uh, where we are in research today. His journey inspired me to consider my physical challenge as a way to give back and to contribute by bringing a message about ability. Most people probably have had an experience in their life where there's something, there's a feeling, a tingle that goes through you that leaves you with a, uh, an everlasting or an impacting feeling and he did that to me. He didn't work at the bench, but he made so many benches possible. There's been no other person like him that because he came and spent some time on this earth, uh, so many people are going to benefit. That's the same as the researchers' efforts contribute to the quality of life of many people. Terry Fox has done this in such a magnificent way. It's, I mean, so much to our family and uh, we're so honored to, uh, on behalf of Terry to, to know that he is being inducted in the Canadian Medical Hall of Fame. If it doesn't work out, I've got to be able to accept it and people have got to realize that uh, good things and bad things happen in the world and Terry Fox is uh, somebody who tries hardest and you know, even though I died of cancer, um, my spirit didn't die and I, and I kept trying. A cherished son and brother, an incredibly caring role model for millions of people around the world. Ladies and gentlemen, Canadian Medical Hall of Fame laureate, Terry Fox.